Former Virginia Governor Tim Kaine is the chairman of the Democratic National Committee. Governor Kaine, good morning to you. Good morning, Meredith. You had lunch with the president yesterday at the White House. Did he tell you that he is 100 percent confident that this bill will pass? I would say, Meredith, he said this. He's very optimistic. We know this is kind of the, the last throes of labor here before something good happening. He's very optimistic, but we're not taking anything for granted. So the president and his team, and then we're doing the same here at the DNC or in communication with members of Congress to answer their last questions. But we feel good about the outcome. In, in the, the president has been going around the country trying to sell this bill. He was in Ohio the other day and he said that Congress needs courage. That was the word he used to pass this bill. But what about deem and pass is courageous? Well, They're not well, even you know, voting directly on the bill. But Meredith, you know, I think that uh, some of the, the way this has been reported is inaccurate. There is going to be a vote. There is going to be a vote. Not on a vote the, directly on that bill, though, on the it, Senate it, bill. Well, th there will be a vote on the entire package that goes to the president's desk. The, the House is considering a procedure whereby they won't take two votes, one on the Senate version and one on the fixes to the Senate version. But this bill will have an up or down vote, hopefully by Saturday, where everybody gets to declare whether they're for solving a problem that affects American people or they want to stand on the sidelines and throw rocks. But again, Governor, this is a vote on the fix-it version, not on the, the Senate bill itself, which suggests, as Matt said earlier, that this is being done to provide political cover for these Democrats in an election year. Yeah, I don't, I don't think there's any cover to be found. Look, everybody's going to be accountable for their yes vote or for their no vote. Um, no bill gets to the president's desk if people vote no, and the bill does go to the president's desk if they vote yes. So everyone will be accountable for, again, whether they want to be part of the solution or whether they want to uh, you know, continue a status quo where Americans are getting socked with 30 and 40 percent premium increases. So the president does support deem and pass if that's the only way to get this bill through. The, the president has said over and over, we need an up or down vote. We don't want, you know, procedural tricks to block the American public from getting an up or down vote on the floor about whether there should be a, a resolution to this debate and there's going to be an up or down vote hopefully by this Saturday. You know, Governor, if it takes this much persuasion, you still don't have the 216 votes and, and the president has been um, talking to Democrats, uh, congressmen as much, and women as much as he can. If, so if you still have to do that much persuasion and a lot of Democrats feel they have to hold their nose to get this thing through, doesn't it suggest to you that maybe this isn't the right solution, this particular reform package? Meredith, I look at it a little bit differently. Um, seven presidents have tried to do health care reform of this kind and not been able to get a single bill through a single committee. The inside lobbyists, special interest forces are so powerfully arrayed against reform of this kind. But we've gotten farther than we ever have. Bills through committee, bills through both houses. We're on the verge of what I believe is a historic vote. And I think it's not only the right thing to do to solve these problems for American families, I think it's going to be great politics because as soon as this bill passes, Americans are going to see immediate good. Families can keep children on their policy through age 26. Seniors are going to get help on prescription drug purchases. Abusive insurance practices will be ended. People will see that immediately. And all the phantoms that the other side threw up in the air with insurance company money about death panels and things like that, there will be nowhere to be found. So I think the politics of it is going to be very good. But it's a big, tough, heavy lift. Those aren't done often in this town. So sure, people are going to ask tough questions. And you know, it's going to be a little bit of a nail biter, but I think we'll get there. All right, DNC Chairman Tim Kaine, thank you so much for your time this morning. Glad to be Again, with you. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And let's get it.